All right, looks like the first matchup of today is going to be a rivalry, to say it kindly, I guess. A big time rivalry. You know, Omaha Lincoln, they, they compete in everything. I mean, they compete in shopping, they compete in football, they compete in you name it. And this is a great playing game for both of these teams, I think, because it gives them both a chance to sort of lean on that hatred, if you will, to get them to the next level. You know, I think it's a great way to start a uh, regional pl playoff tournament with a grudge match. These leagues very close to each other geographically, and now they're going to go head-to-head. -head. You know they study each other all the time. They've got access to each other. And uh, Omaha has even openly admitted that having no coast down the street, who's been skating some great roller derby for the last few years, has really helped them come along and be in this tournament. Absolutely. You know, it's, it's interesting because, uh, oh, we're getting, we're getting ready to start right here. Flash Gloria for your No Coast Girls, number 32. And it looks like that's going to be Anna Maniac for Omaha in red and black. No Coast in black and white. Well, this is a close one. These are the two top jammers for both of these teams. So both teams coming out strong with their best foot forward. It's the best way to start off on the good foot. There goes Animaniac getting a nice pull through on the outside, but she finds the wall of no coast skaters and must call off the jam. No points for either team. Now, would you call that a whip, or is that just a pull through? You know, I, a, a whip to me is a, is a little bit more than that. That's, to me, that was more of a pull through. Okay. You need to have a little more shoulder action in the whip, perhaps. Right. Okay. Using centripetal force, if you will. No, don't get technical on hey. me. We've got uh, actually the uh, one of the rookies of the year this year for No Coast is um, Slam Anderson uh, is up as a jammer for the No Coast girls. A blasted girl in red and black for Omaha on the jammer line. The pack is actually in motion. Taking the time up. It looks like uh, Omaha wants to get their uh, skater out of the penalty box. And there she goes. I'm a fire starter in the box for Omaha. Oh, nice block. Oh, Elastic Girl almost gets by on the inside line, but she gets put to the infield. Kelly Rip and Nipoloff gave her a hip right there. And there she goes. Slam Anderson is your lead jammer of this one. Nice move. Stay patient, letting her pack do the work for her so that she can get through and get that lead jammer status. Owning the clock is such a big part of successful roller derby. Absolutely. And now more or less a power jam as Omaha's down two girls. So it's five to three on this skate. You really got to watch those penalties. If you're not on the track, you cannot help your jammer. And just a reminder, every time Slam Anderson comes by the penalty box, she is getting two more points. A blasted girl still trying to get through before her initial pass, and she gets put to the infield again. And it's all about recycling in Lincoln, Nebraska. Ooh, a little scrum there on the third corner, but Slam is back up on her feet. Omaha doing a really good job with just three or four girls on the blocking. You know, if you're Slam Anderson, you're, you're, you're about to go high-five your entire pack because they've given you... Uh, an opportunity to basically be in the middle of a power jam with you know with the exception of, of a body missing on the floor Absolutely. they've been able to contain omaha's jammer for this entire jam she has yet to get through in her initial pass so there's absolutely no pressure on slam anderson to hurry 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 get through that pack right. pick up the points as they come and you'll be glad you did and it looks like she's going to keep on going after she picks up five points that's five a grand more. slam for no -Cos. you gotta love the grand slam it's not just for breakfast anymore, you know. It, did you have one this morning? No. Oh, no. there's a Denny's by my hotel. I, I didn't have time to stop. Oh! Kelly ripping nipple off with another great slam hit, if you will. And then a little push on the butt of Slam Anderson to finish that jam. Yeah, she gets two more points there at the end of that jam. And if you are watching this broadcast at home, you're watching it on WFTDA.com. And on the track, you can see Adam Wheels, the official wheels of the Women's Flat Track Derby, uh, Derby Association. And also Rydell Skates, the official skate and partner of the WFTDA. We love them. Mm-hmm. Keeping us rolling. Mm-hmm, Keisha. Okay, looks like Cobra Kai for your No Coast girls. Probably second or third best jammer on the squad. I'm a, I'm a fire starter. Going to be jamming for Omaha. Looks like she's going to the outside oh. trying to draft the No Coast jammer, but she's not out first. No Coast is going to have lead jammer status under control. Great foot race here. Let's see what Cobra does. If she's going to call it off or no compete head-to-head -head here. Nope, she's going to call it off. That's good good action. Obviously, having the lead jam, that's what your benefit is, right? You get to call the match. Well, you know, you, you can keep things safe. You know, it's kind of a safeguard in that scenario when you have your opposing jammer getting out of the pack right on your heels. Great work there by I'm a Fire Starter, killing that jam and smart on no coast part by calling it. Well, and just so those folks that are watching at home, uh, just so you know, obviously, the first star, if you will, first jammer through the pack without any penalties 
is your lead jammer every time, correct? Yeah, she gets through that pack first, and she does so with inbounds, and it's a legal pass. She will pick up lead jammer status. That gives them ownership of the jam clock, where they can call off the jam at any time simply by touching their hips. Now, here's last year's 2010 um, regional all MVP, Flash Gloria, behind number 999 for Omaha. Yep, that is Anna Maniac, who's your lead jammer for Omaha in red and black. Again, North, 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 North Coast. <laughs> Good morning. North Coast. North Coast over there in uh, black and white. That was great. Anna Maniac got out in front early, got a quick four or five, and got out. How many are they going to give her there? They're going to give her four. But that's what you have to do, honestly. I mean, I hate to give strategy against our girls, but, I mean, you've got to get in and get out, especially when you're against Flash. And it looks like it's going to be I'm a fire starter on the jammer line once again for Omaha. She wants to get some points. Absolutely. Against number 22, Cleo smack you, who will smack you, especially when she picks up speed. She is devastating when she gets to full speed. Score right now, no coast 10, Omaha 4. 24 minutes, 43 seconds to go in the first period. A major bunch up here. Both jammers having trouble. Cleo trying to find a spot. I'm a fire starter making a move on the outside. Does get pushed out of bounds. Doesn't necessarily have to be recycled. Oh. But Cleo gets through the pack first, and she's going to be your lead jammer. Here she goes. She gets her arms moving. She's going to gain up speed here now. Kelly ripping up nipple off again, doing a great job of leading the blocks in there with thicker than a snicker. I like how Omaha's pack starts to move back and help out I'm a fire starter because uh, Ivana ripping nipple off was just all over her. Absolutely. And there's a big five points for Cleo Smacky. That's, as you would say, a grand slam. That's right. All five, baby. And she's going to call it. She's not going to get any more on that one. So I tell you what, Omaha's come a long, long way. You know, uh, Lincoln No Coast played them early on in the year. It was pretty much a dominant performance. The second time in the year, it was fairly close. I mean, still 30 points away, but Omaha's definitely come on. And really, it's been in their blocking. Getting up on the jammer line for Omaha in red and black is going to be Anna Maniac once again. She has been jamming quite a bit thus far, Crush. Well, and notice she's every single time against Flash Gloria, which obviously must be a strategy for Omaha. Put their best against their best and see what they can do. And so far, they've come out on top with that one. Pack moving off a little slowly. Now you see the blocker in red standing on her feet. That means she's got 10 seconds or less left to serve in the penalty box. It's quite a wall Omaha has built up here. Now, Truck, talk to me about, oh, they're waiting for the penalty there. Talk to me about why you want to be in the lead. Whoa. Wow. Safe at turn one. Let's, let's wow. Try. Looks like Something Animaniac tried to get through the pack. The pack was at a standstill, so both the drivers came up as quick as possible, and then they had to stop instantly. Oh, oh that's close there. Did they give one? Did they give the lead to Animaniac? Yep, it's got to be lead jammer okay. Animaniac who gets through the pack. It's very close. Flash now trying to gain some speed, get out of that pack, and make Animaniac call it off, but she's having trouble here in the corner big time. Omaha keeping their pack at the proper portion of it at the very front. Slowing down, number 32 for no coast. Daisy Mayhem doing a great job in there blocking for Omaha. And they're going to send MK80, Molly Massacre, to the penalty box, it looks like. Animaniac at the front of the pack, picking up points on this pass. Kelly Rippa Nipple up back in for the no coast girls. Flash Gloria at the front of the pack was going to play a little bit of offensive, or excuse me, defensive jamming. But now she's going to go ahead and start making her way around the track. And a maniac gets bumped out in the front stretch. And she's now at the back of the pack looking for a way to the front. Judo no there, hand in hand. Oh, trying to gain ground here and make some, uh, build some blocks, if you will. Oh, and a maniac's going to call it off, though. The big advantage there for no coast is numbers in the pack. Omaha has to keep their ladies out of the penalty box if they want to get their jammers through. I mean, you got Animaniac is a very talented skater, but you can't do it by yourself. Absolutely. Truck, talk a little bit about this scenario here. You've got the, the no coast team is up front with Omaha in the back. Why would you prefer one of the over the other? You know, it, it comes down to the numbers game. You know, if you're going to own that wall at the very front, what they're going to do is they're going to take a knee right here, which is going to cause a no pack situation forces forward momentum great hit by thicker than a snicker there i'm a fire starter jamming in red for omaha there goes slam anderson she is your lead jammer for this one looking good as she comes out of the pack she's already halfway around the track trying to extend that difference 34 double d was a rock star this year on both the traveling team and the home team. I'm a fire starter, shrugging off a hit, gets out of the pack, but I have a feeling No Coast is about to pick up some points and call off the jam before she could come around and do some damage of her own. There's a little, oh, looking for a little help there by Thicka. 
So she's going to get one and a little pull. Wow. Oh. And they're going to call it on two. Two points, I think, for Slam there. Nice work there on, on Omaha's behalf, making, making it very, very difficult for Slam getting through that pack. You know, this is a great pace. I don't know if everybody is just so calm this morning or they're just so nervous, but it's very modest. It's Nobody's letting their emotions get away with them. Uh, it's a very good pace, I think. Their heads seem to be in the game. The timing of some of these hits is already on point. Usually you do see, for everyone, a little bit of awkwardness in the first game of a weekend like this, but both of these teams ready to play. I mean, you, you watch uh, skaters like Daisy Mayhem, number 665 from Omaha, timing that hit that put Slam Anderson out of bounds. That usually doesn't happen until about second period, day one. <laughs> so this it's, is good to see that the South Central starting off hot. Here we go, still waiting for the jammers. He blasted a girl for Omaha. And you got none other than our favorite fire eater. That would be Dropkick Muffy out there. Muffy going to the there outside of the back stretch. She's going to get it. Pack. She's going to take your lead jam position. What a hit there by number 11 for your no coast team, Velvet Crush. And right now, this is going to be the first power jam of the South Central Regional Playoff. Oh, advantage going to Omaha. A blast girl making her way through the pack, trying to stay patient, gets bumped out of the front stretch. It has to be recycled. Leticia Lesson up there on the pivot for No Coast, trying to sort of watch what's happening here, keep their jammer from making her way through. No Coast doing a nice job of blocking really overall right now. Playing some serious defense. You know, Judo knows at the back of that packet, that's where she really likes to be. She is cleaning up the jammer and able to hold her back for about 15 seconds of pop. That's a good blocker to have on your side. It's a great blocker to have. We'll take her any day of the week. And look here, right out front oh, on lead jam. Almost going to get the lead jam and call it off. You know, there's a lot of time that was off that jam clock, and I think she was ready to regroup. And uh, Omaha still going to have the advantage by being in a power jam situation. And they're going to start with some fresh legs. Absolutely. Save to fight another day. And, of course, they're going to put Animaniac out there, who is one of their marquee jammers that they turn, tend to lean on. Absolutely. We'll see. It's interesting to see if Flash Gloria uh, will come back in here, but it looks like Muffy's going to have to finish her time first. Omaha also down. I'm a fire starter. You see that they are going to go ahead and push by dropping a knee, forcing forward momentum so they can take advantage for the, the last few seconds left of this power jam. Dropkick Muffy ready to go here on the gunshot. She's got it. She's on the track. Maniac still caught in the back of the pack. No coast, front four wall, looking mean, staying together. And that's the key to your four wall. Great wall. you got to communicate physically yep. and verbally. Absolutely. If you can touch each other, then you're close enough to contain the opposing jammer. And that's what you're watching right before you. Yep, great wall. Drop kick Muffy wow. did get sent to the corner there. Thicker than a sticker. Did get a bump, but it looks like Omaha's going to take your lead jam. Dropkick Muffy now out of the pack as well. She's got to turn up the heat to catch up to Animaniac, who is rapidly approaching the rear of the pack. No coach looking to build their wall again. Oh, goodness. Great move there. Maniac absorbing that hit between turns three and four. Slows her down, but doesn't take her out. She gets to the pack, calls off the jam. Nice work there by Omaha, picking up four points. That's going to bring the score now. No coast 17, Omaha 8. We've got 17 minutes, 12 seconds to go in the first period. Great jam there by Animaniac. She really is the rock star for this team so far. And great blocking that time by Omaha as well. Looks like Omaha is going to start short by two skaters. You know, it's been a, a little impressive to see how Omaha can still uh, block successfully. Flash Gloria now in as your, as your jammer for No Coast. They've been able to block successfully without the numbers in the pack. And uh, still going to be five points behind No Coast now with 12 points to No Coast 17. Oh, and there goes Flash Gloria as your lead jammer for No Coast. E Blast Girl still trying to get through the pack there. Notice she's not against uh, Animaniac. Wow. Cleaning up after your own hit. You know, doing your own bump and run thicker than a snicker. She has patented a booty bump that I didn't tell you about. Why well, you got to keep secrets? I know. I How's this relationship going to work <laughs> if you won't tell me everything? I'll open up next week at therapy. A blast the girl now out of the pack. That was her initial pass. No coast picking up points on this pass for them. And she calls off the jam for the ladies from Lincoln, Nebraska. There you go. No coast, Lincoln, Nebraska taking four more there with the help of Flash Gloria as your jammer. Now Cobra Kai is going to come in and jam for no coast. 
Cobra Kai, if, if memory serves me correctly, was one of the jammers I enjoyed watching last year at Amber Waves of Pain. Yes. Hosted by the No Coast Derby Girls in Lincoln, Nebraska. But of course. And I believe we're hosting next year. But don't quote me on that. Is I that won't. Official? Oh. You just did it. Dang it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was just kidding. I have a fire starter that's going to be jamming for Omaha. And it's three on three in the pack. Cobra Kai is a little bit of a sleeper. That's why she's so fun. You know, she'll sort of pull in the back. And next thing you know, she's out in front, and uh, she's she runs great. And she's also a great blocker, too. So, Well, she's one of those skaters that they don't jam all of the time, but when they do, their jammer rotation gets a bit of relief, and you can count on a girl like that because she can be in the middle of the pack or she can have a star helmet cover on. And right now, you're watching I'm a Firestarter going out of bounds. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Looks like it's a low block. She's going to be headed to the penalty box. This is a power jam now. Advantage going to no coast. And like I said, coming from the back is your Cobra Kai. This is going to be a full two-minute jam. Full two minutes. There is no lead jammer, so thus we must skate the full two minutes. Oh, she, they did give her lead jam. Excuse me. Official clarification oh. as the wheels turn. Now she's got to come back in, of course. Oh, notice that the blocker is going to move all the way back on the track because she's got to come back in behind her. This is eating up a lot of time, which isn't necessarily bad for no coast. It's really good that Omaha is able to make her recycle back there. It eats up a lot of the time in the penalty box for her team while making the opponent recycle to the back and go through the whole process one more time. McKillia wreaking some havoc there. It looks like five full points for Cobra Kai stretching that lead 21 to 12, excuse me, 26 to 12. No coast over Omaha with 14 minutes left in the first half. No coast with the isolation play in effect. Holding back one of the Omaha blockers, creating some separation in the pack and also controlling the pace of play to make it easier on their jammer to get through the pack. Looks like I'm a fire starter's back on the track, Crush. She is back and she is skating awfully fast. It looks like this might be the last pass scoring run for Cobra Kai. Into that jam. Looking good for no coast. I'm a fire starter able to get on the track but not able to answer back. We do want to thank Elemental Technologies, the world's most powerful video processing solutions. In part, they are responsible for this broadcast you're staring at. Right meow. We hope you're staring at it. And by the way, if you want to upgrade, I understand the higher definition. We, we shouldn't say high def, but the higher definition is pretty kick butt. The, the elevated definition? Yeah. <laughs> the elevated. That's right. Yes. The, the safe definition. <laughs> It is available, and it's, it's really fantastic. The feed looks great. It's wonderful. WFTDA stepping up the game this year, and it's obvious, making your home viewing experience that much more enjoyable. For your Slam Anderson is your lead jam for No Coast. Another lead jam for your Lincoln girls. I'm a fire starter. Ooh. Jamming again for Omaha, still caught in traffic. Sharon Misery with a great hit fr from Omaha there. But here comes Slam Anderson. She's gaining low. This is sort of her thing. Picking up a few points, picking all of them up, I think, right there. That's five for a grand slammer. She was able to move through that pack with a lot of grace and a lot of patience. She really took her time and kind of did a little S motion as she went through the pack. Nice and fluid. Didn't have to exert too much energy, and that's something you have to pay attention to day one of a three-day tournament. Absolutely, absolutely. She does a great job. She does get sent to the side there, but she's back on the track and still scoring as we speak. Wow, Slam finds the outside line just waiting there. Oh, oh. It was lonely. She said, you know what, I'll take that track space. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I think me. I'm going to pick up four points. She did not get all five because she did pass a skater. Out of bounds. No pass, no penalty. Good point. Great hit by Thicker than a Snicker if you didn't see it. Look at that. Here she comes again. Slam Anderson cutting her way through, getting low. Omaha's wall now starting to stay together as a group, and that's where you're going to be successful. If Omaha can get that frame of mind, they'll be able to, to bring their score up and hold no coast. Absolutely. Daisy Mayhem and Danalen in the coffin doing a nice job. When they're together, as you said earlier, they need to stay close, though. Right. You see no coast. They're breaking them up the entire time, and good for no coast. That's what you're supposed to do. You can divide and conquer in the pack. Again, that was a great jam for your no coast girls if you're cheering for the black and white. Uh, they're going to jump to 44 to 12 with 11 minutes left. Don't forget Omaha in the red, no coast in the black. Have a little line change here. Judo no coming in to block with Kelly Ripa nipple off. And that's a dynamic duo, though, duo that's very familiar with each other. It is, they've, they been, are. they've been skating on the same team for a minute or two. They have. 
NoCo showing you that they are uh, seeded number seven for a reason with 44 points over Omaha's 12. Omaha, the 10 seed in the South Central Region playoff. Great strategy there. Flash Gloria is out of your lead jam. And if you notice, Dropkick Muffy is the pivot for no coast and really did a great job quarterbacking that move in the front. Well, when you have somebody that not only blocks but jams that pivot helmet on, you kind of want to watch uh, to maybe see if there's going to be a passing of the star at some point. Absolutely. You know, we didn't see a lot of that at home this year in, in Lincoln, but it, I'm excited to see one here today. Well, you know, tournament play is when you use the full rule book. You have to bring the entire knowledge that you have to the track to come out victorious in competitive gameplay. Absolutely. An Anna Maniac was awarded the lead jam there and actually called it off because she was behind in, in, uh, in scoring here. Looks like Cleo Smack is going to take the jammer line for no coast. And it's going to be, again, I'm a fire starter, the workhorse with a jammer helmet panty. She and uh, Anna Maniac have really just been going on a one-two punch. I sort of wish for the announcer's sake that all the girls could color their hair differently. And then we can just <laughs> we can go by the color. Skating by numbers. <laughs> Oh, there she goes. You know, she's so, like, quick, and I don't think they see her half the time. Well, no coast found her at the front of the pack, and they're able to hold her back. Omaha able to do the exact same thing to Cleo. Yep. Both, both walls doing their job. Now we've got a pack situation where there is absolutely no separation. I'm a fire star looking for that inside line. Cleo looking for the opposite. Absolutely. She barely stayed in there. Both jammers still trying to find a hole. This pack is relentless in this jam. If you are wow. a jammer, wow. then you have just agreed to be right in the middle of a brawl. Cleo will smack you down now. Broken hearts, keeping I'm a fire starter out of the lead jam position. This is nuts. We still don't have a lead jam. Daisy Mayhem up front alongside McKillia. I mean, they are all over Cleo, slowing it down. And now you got a little bit of bridging happening. They don't want to get separated because once 20 feet, yep. once you get uh, 20 feet past the pack, you're not allowed to engage that jammer anymore. You see the official signal. There you go. There it is. And McKillie is going to be going to the penalty box for blocking out of play. Now, Truck, do they have to, they mandatorily have to come back together as a group? Is that right? Yes. If you do not come back together after there is a no-pack situation or after there is a, uh, a, once you're out of play, then you can get another penalty for failure to reform. We hate it when that happens. And, you know, I, I agree. Still battling here. I'm a fire starter. My gosh, she's going to get the lead jam on like the 400th pass. And she's going to call. A lot of time went by in that jam because now we Look are down that. to just about eight minutes to go. It's like a minute 53. We didn't have a, jam, a lead jam the whole time. Those are the fights you don't look forward to when you're a jammer. But I tell you, it shows you that these teams are very aware of each other. They know each other. Omaha seems to be picking up a little bit of momentum here with their pack play. It seems to be getting a lot tougher to get through that red wall. It definitely is. They haven't seemed to be able to crack the scoring um, strategy yet. But, yes, the blocking is getting much, much better. Animaniac in red for Omaha jamming. There goes Flash Glory as your lead jam for No Coast again. Boy, what a great spot for her to be, and she's already halfway around the track. Animaniac still oh. trying to get out of the pack and taking some love there from No Coast. Wow, that's when you want replay about five times with slow mo. Kelly Ripponepolov missing a hit there on Animaniac, who's still trying to get out of the back of the pack. And Slam Anderson is moving through. On a scoring pass. I tell you what, Animatic is scrappy. I tell you, she, she takes a hit and keeps on ticking. Here comes Flash Gloria. That's going to be a scoring pass for a grand slammer. Five points there for Nokos. Animaniac does finally get through the pack. That was her initial pass. Slam Anderson looking to pick up some points and call off this jam to make sure Omaha doesn't get to leave 12 points on the board. They want to keep them there as long as possible. Absolutely. Picking up just two more there, and then they're going to call it. You know, whenever you see a jammer come to the back of the pack and, and call off that jam, you can pick up points up until the fourth whistle. So there's a timing that happens there. It's not the first one that's blown. Once the fourth whistle has been blown, then you stop scoring points. So you'll see a lot of jammers hit the back of the pack, call off the jam, and see how many people they can get by before their opponent's able to answer. Wow. I did not know that. It's a cerebral game, my friend. See, this is why you're the voice of a generation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our generation is just screwed. We need a we need a um, a costume cam for you, though. I really <laughs> insist upon that next time. That might change the rating of the program. <laughs> it will. Yes, it will not be a family show. Well, if you haven't been smacked by RollerGirlSkates.com, <laughs> then you don't know what you're missing. Check them out. They've got a lot of great things going on locally here at the tournament and a lot of great deals you can find online. Again, that's RollerGirlSkates.com.
Just a little shout out, if you don't mind. We have a. I want to have a, a happy birthday to Bone Setter, who's home in uh, in Lincoln, Nebraska, waiting on the birth of her baby. So it's happy birthday to the baby coming soon. The nine month derby injury is about to be over. That's, that's right. We hope to have her on the track next year. So happy, happy birthday! And um, supposedly we've got a thank you to Rat City. I don't know what that means. You're supposed to fill there. Oh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rad City. I was just—that's what I was told to say. Awesome. So, this is uh, again a nice matchup, fifty-five to twelve. Uh, I got to give it to No Coast; they've really adjusted well. If you notice in the beginning, their blockers were doing a decent job, but they didn't seem to have any strategy. Now they seem to be finding a way to get their jammers out early, which is making all the difference in the world. It is right now. No Coast going to start this jam at fifty-five points. Omaha with twelve. We've got six minutes, sixteen seconds to go. Timeouts. About to wrap up. 34 double D slam Anderson out there against I'm a fire starter with the red hair. No coast with everyone in their pack at the front owning it, making I'm a fire starter work extremely hard. I'd say what Nikilia doing a great job in there. Looks like Judo No in the front there trying to make a hole. For Slam Anderson, she's just about through, and there she is through. She's I'm a looking to get a whip there from Molly Masker. It gets broken up. The lead jammer status owned by No Coast, as that she is about to be in scoring position. And to be, I'm a fire starter right now is not to be someone that's having a good time at the back of that pack. <laughs> no Coast has really just locked it down. They have committed to staying together as a pack and, and to working as a team, and it's working really well so far. Absolutely. Slam Anderson picking up some more points as she goes by here. One more to beat before she gets another lap in. Molly Masker has turned into the goat at the back of the pack as No Coast has decided to trap her and slow down the pace of play. Looks like that jam's going to come to a conclusion. No Coast picking up another five. I'm a fire starter. has got to be getting a little bit fatigued uh, between she and, you know, she's one of the lead jammers here, and she's jamming a lot. That's another thing No Coast, is, I think, is doing a nice job of is rotating their jammers. Cobra Kai is going to be your jammer for Lincoln, No Coast Girls, and Animaniac in there for Omaha. Four on two in the pack. Advantage going to No Coast here. I don't think they're giving Daisy Mayhem a break. She's out there just about every time and doing a nice job blocking Cobra Kai now. Lots of pushing and shoving in there. Trying to find a, trying to find a hole here. Well, this is really hard on jammers. You really may force them to fight. Both jammers looking to try and get through this pack. Both packs looking to keep it really slow and uh, forcing them to run this gauntlet. That's a tough room whenever you have a star on your helmet. Absolutely, but there you go. Cobra Kai with a drop kick to break her way through that one. And here she goes. Now it's going to be up to No Coast again to keep Animaniac behind them. Well, you can just feel the intensity build in that pack. It's going really slow, and it's really hard hitting. Yep. And then suddenly, boom, magic happens. No coast jammer gets through, picks up lead jammer status. Looks like she's going to go to the inside line and start picking up some points. There she rolls. Looks like she's going to get four truck for that one. Hit it and quit it. Get through that pack, score four points, move on down the line. You know, one thing that I do like this season is, that, is it seems that the skaters are getting a few things for being awesome at Roller Derby. Union Vacations is going to be giving the 2011 WFTDA MVP a one-week getaway to Mexico. Union Vacations, check them out. They like us, like them back. They ought to give you a vacation for that outfit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, you got Flash Gloria back in there for No Coast, and I'm a fire starter in for Omaha. Flash starts to the back of the pack. Boy, she starts her quick step. She gets oh, to the yeah. front quick and in a hurry. Gets to the pack first. She's going to be your lead jammer for the No Coast Derby Ooh. Girls. Flash Gloria, normally a great defensive jammer. Good put on her behind, but she's just going to call that and start over. Yeah, she got knocked down to her knees in turn four. Recycle the back of the pack right as Ima Firestarter was released. And if you know anything about Ima, she's very, very fast. She can get around that pack in no time at all. She really is. She, she may not excel in the, the power category, but she's about the quickest um, feet out here on the track today. Some other feet we got on the jammer line. Looks like it's going to be Anna Maniac for Omaha. Against 34 Double Deep Slam Anderson. You got to love the names, you know? I do. 
I refuse to call these people by their real names. <laughs> those, those people are dead to me. I refuse. I do. 100%. Pack started off at a slow pace. Both teams looking to empty out the penalty box. It's three on three in this pack. Once they get past that pivot line, then the whistle blows, and Animaniac goes to the outside. Oh. Whoa! On one skate, goes down in turn one. Slam Anderson still caught in traffic. Judo No, the biggest traffic cone in the in the history right there. Trying to keep up with her, but, it, but there you go. There's some of that power. She's taking some hits as she's trying to get out of that pack. Doesn't slow her down. She's a driving force for the Omaha Roller Girls. Wow. Slam gets put out of bounds in between turn one and two. Penalties are assessed. Now Nokos is going to have a pack advantage. Anti-embolism there. Going to be sent to the box for incessive uh, slamming on Slam Anderson there. Slam's still trying to find a spot. Sharon Misery causing misery in there. Kelly Ripponipoloff, though, trying to be a lead blocker on that one. And here she goes. Running fullback for Slam Anderson, and she is out of the pack. That's what you got to do. You see your jammer in trouble? Help her out. Judo No sends another jammer into the stands, but Animaniacs back quickly here. Oh, and just for good measure, Judo No is going to give her some love. It looks like that could be... Uh Illegal procedure. Whistle's been blown. You cannot make contact with that jammer. And it seemed that that hit came just barely after the fourth whistle. And, you know, that's that timing thing. Blockers have to have timing as well. It's a major penalty. She'll be going to the penalty box for no coast. But no coast still has the pack advantage with three to two. I think if we had the NFL replay, though, we might have been. We could have got that one. We should red flag that one. We could if all day. But right now what we have is the human factor. Leo smack you in and out in a hurry. She's your lead jammer for no coast. A blast of girl jamming for Omaha. Again, Omaha in red. And you're seeing no coast in black. And here goes Cleo. She's got great form. She's coming around now for a scoring pass. The Blaster Girl still trying to get through on her initial pass, but Kelly Ripa Nipoloff puts her out in turn one. Kelly doing a great job there using her hips to keep her in check. Yep, she's been all over the pack. She's been skating quite a bit as well. Definitely one of the most formidable blockers that No Coast has brought to Kansas City. And here comes Thicker than a Sticker, creating a beautiful block for Cleo Smackia to get right around McKillia. And it looks like we have a grand slam for the No Coast Derby girls. Oh, yeah. They continue to rack up the points, and they're definitely starting to pull away now. They've got 69 on the board, 16 for Omaha. And the period clock has expired, so this will be the final jam. Insert innuendo joke here, and we're going to go right back to the live action here. Thicker than a snicker. Getting ready here to create another great block. For oh, we're clearing out the penalty box truck. A blast the girl does get out of the pack on her initial pass. Cleo getting through, and she's just picking up points. She goes to the outside of the back stretch, tries to get around at number two. McKillia not able to do so. She does get put out in turn she's, four. And she's going to call it. She picks up three points on that pass. And we're going to go to halftime, ladies and gentlemen. We do want to thank some of our following tournament partners, Green Monster Roller Sports, Fast Girl Skates, Merch Mama, and Fried, Five Stride Skate Shop. My name's Dump Truck. I am the Mighty Mount Crushworm. And we'll be back. After halftime. About to get the second period started. It is 72 no coast, 16 for Omaha. My name is Duck Truck. I am the Mighty Mount Crushmore. And we're going to be bringing you the final half of the first game here in Kansas City at the South Central Region Playoff. Show me Derby Q. Show you Derby Q. I love Derby Q. <laughs> Anything that ends with a Q. Pretty much. I'm usually good with. You can barbecue anything, so you might as well barbecue roller derby. <laughs> Put it on a spit and enjoy it. We do want to thank ProTech Dent Mouth Guard, the first thoroughly scientific mouth guard for the derby player. you got to have the right mouth guard. you got to have the right safety equipment out there. Safety is definitely one of the most important things about this sport because it is such a tough, high-impact, high-paced, very, very fast game. Safety first, as they say, truck. Always, always. And you know, these ladies need to stay inside the lines to be successful in roller derby. But you could go outside the lines with a new kind of t-shirt at the Splendland booth. Check them out. Splendland. They are splendid. It's fantastic. Splendid. Well, this is a, uh, the blood feud will continue here in the second half with Omaha and Lincoln. You know, it, Omaha's playing, is actually, I think, skating pretty well overall. I mean, obviously, they're not scoring well, but... They've come a long ways, and it shouldn't be forgotten probably. They're, they're a few years behind um, No Coast as far as their 
um, you know, their experience as a group. Yeah, no cause is one of those leagues that they have uh, learned from over the years to get to the South Central Region playoff. And it's been working. You know, no cause plays a good, solid game uh, of roller derby. It's well-rounded. They know how to play defense well. They know how to play offense well. Things are going good for No Coast, and uh, this has been a really good game for them. You start off hot like this, and it's going to usually uh, add to a little bit of forward momentum and maybe get to change in the seedings a little bit. Showing up at 7, I know they would love to leave at the very least 6. Yeah, it would be uh, it would be a false. It would just be totally a lie if I said that No Coast was pleased with their seeding. So uh, this is sort of a, maybe a... You know, thumbs up to them doing much, much better through here and showing everybody that they should have been seated much higher. Now, Truck, what are they checking for here when they check the girls every time? For, like, blades and chains and things? <laughs> they're making sure this doesn't turn into the Warrior sequel. Right. Uh, wait, they're doing the safety socius. check, making sure that the, that the helmet's in good condition, that everyone has a mouth guard. They're making sure that their wrist, gu wrist guards are there and they're in good condition. Um, they're not just checking, checking that you have safety equipment. They're making sure that it's up to par with this high-impact sport of women's flat track and roller derby. And we're going to be back here live with the action. And it's going to start with Flash Gloria, number 32, with your note course, against her arch nemesis now. That being Animaniac for your Omaha. The, entire, girls. Pack, the entire pack starting on the jammer line. Very, very slow, making those jammers work really, really hard. If you're a jammer and you're on day one, this is not something you want to see because you've got two more days of roller derby. And this is, I mean, it's hard. You've got to push, push, push through that pack. And there you go, number 32. Getting through the pack, not a problem there. Lead jammer status, they own the jam clock. Flash Gloria is your lead jammer. Sorry about that. I was focused on uh, sharing misery coming out there for the pivot. No coast keeping the pack fast right now. Forcing Flash Gloria to chase it a bit, but they're also able to contain Animaniac at the same time. With a two-skater advantage right now, No Coast really going to rack up some more points. Let's see how many they're going to give Flash. That's going to get a full five. Grand slam. Animaniac gets bumped to the infield there. Has to stay at the back of the pack. Trying to go to the outside line in turn three, but she does not have a way out. I have to believe fatigue might be a little bit of a factor. Animaniac being one of the two jammers that's jammed the most for Omaha. Well, the main thing really is, is if you don't have your skaters in the pack, they cannot do your jammer any good. And the pack advantage with no coast, four blockers to Omaha's two doesn't really uh, make for good pack play whenever you're that jammer that has to, to work with that team. You got to keep your skaters out there. Flash Gloria, by the way, picked up another grand slam while we were chatting, and she's going to come back around for yet another scoring drive. Animaniac still trying to get through on her initial pass. This is Flash Gloria's jam. Looks like the penalty box has been emptied out. We do have five on five action. At the exact same time that goes down, Animaniac gets through the pack. That's how it out. works. Absolutely. Now watch for Flash right there to call it. I thought that was coming, and sure enough, she'd had enough, but she's going to pick up three more before she gets out of there. Boy, extending that streak here, that stretch of uh, scoring to 82-16 to 16 now in favor of your no-coast girls. Need to check out No Mercy, the new derby photo book from Jules Axel Adams Doyle. I was looking at it last night, actually getting to hang out with Axel Adams, and he's got some extremely beautiful images of some very, very historic events in roller derby. Check out his book. You can find it at Amazon.com. You can also find it at all of the big five. Outstanding. We've got Slam Anderson jamming through to your lead jam for No Coast. He blast a girl jamming for Omaha, still caught in the back of the pack. Blast a girl has not really been able to uh, get around the no coast defense at all this morning, but she does get through there on her first initial pass. No coast uh, breaking up a little bit. Actually, ooh, sending their own girl, Juno No, to the side there, but looks like 964 is going to come through there. E blast girl. But Slam's going to call it off. She's had enough there. We're going to start over with four points. Four points there for No Coast. Very successful jam there. Taking a good bit of time off the clock. Picking up four points. Not giving anything to Omaha, who is still sitting at 16 with No Coast on top. 89, 26 minutes, 41 seconds to go in gameplay. And the infamous Cobra Kai is in for your No Coast girls. Oh, and look, it's Animaniac hey, for is Omaha. Hey, is this her first jam of the day? <laughs> Omaha in black and red. No Coast in black and white. 
Uh-oh, what do we have here, Truck? We had a little bit of confusion. Both of these uh, teams ready to get off of that line and get skating. But we're in the middle of an official timeout, and that's exactly when I want to thank some more of our tournament partners like DerbySupply.net. They're the ones responsible for bringing me here and for making sure I get to North Central's and for making sure I get to championships. They put you in the same vehicle? So they, it's all their fault, really. Oh, Lord. Yeah, they're responsible. Flat Track Write Revolution. The Revolution can be worn. Check them out. Derbalife. Making me smaller one week at a time <laughs> and derby for all. In the right area. <laughs> That's right. Getting ready to jam here again with Cobra Kai. And I'm a fire starter now out there. Both lines here going very slow. No Coast skating one skater down. No Coast trying to milk that penalty clock. They are down one blocker. And so the slower they are, the closer they are to that bench. She can get out and rejoin the action and be a part of the solution. It's all about being part of the solution, not part of the problem. <laughs> That's right. That's what they keep telling me. I'm a fire starter is anxious to get going, and there she goes. Well, they bled about 30 seconds off of that clock, a little more, actually. So at least half of that penalty for the no-co skater has already gone by. But it looks like I'm a fire starter is going to get to the pack, and she's your lead jammer. And there she goes again with those quick feet. Cobra Kai still looking for a gap here. Well, he getting shut down by that front two wall that Omaha has brought, and it's doing a great job. When Omaha has a full pack complement, they do some fantastic things out there on that track. They know how to stay together as a team, and whenever they have a pack advantage like they have right now, they're able to be successful. As you see, I'm a fire starter picking up that fifth jammer lap point and calling off the jam. That was a great jam. She's going to pick up close to... What, 14 or 15 points, I think, just on that one jam. So Omaha now finally able to answer back in the second period with 21 on the board. No coast with 89, and we've got 24 minutes and 55 seconds to go. Only five on that one for I'm a fire starter, but a great jam nevertheless. And it's Animaniac in against her nemesis, Flash Gloria. I love watching these two jam against each other. Very different body types, but also very capable in their own right. Absolutely. Both with different strengths, as you said, but very capable. But there's thicker than a snicker with her patented booty bump. Keeping her on the side. Great job by Thicka. Boy, a lot of hard work there done by Animaniac, who finally gets out of that pack. And it looks like a fourth uh -oh. minor being assessed to Flash Gloria, sending her to the penalty box. And this is a power jam. Advantage Omaha. Power jam there. MK80, Molly Masker also going to the bench. So although they're on a power jam, they've only got three skaters out there. You know, if you want to be successful in roller derby, you got to have your skaters on the track. I've heard that somewhere before. Right here during this broadcast brought to you by the WFTDA. By the voice of a generation. <laughs> <laughs> and a maniac gets through the pack, and that's a grand slam for Omaha. Here comes No Coast getting ready to bunch up again, hopefully keep her away from another scoring pass. Just under a minute to go left in this jam. Kelly Ripponipoloff calling the action inside there. No Coast owning the front four wall. That is what you need to do in this situation. They're going to try and make it as fast as they can to force Animaniac not only to exert a lot of energy, but to milk off some of that clock if they can stop her from getting through that wall. Well, and Sharon Misery is trying to do everything she can to get a block in there. Animaniac really taking her time before she engages that front wall, kind of just following them around the track. McKillia back in here, and there goes Flash Gloria. She didn't waste any time back on the track. Power Jam obviously now over. Jam clock owned by Animaniac. Flash Gloria just got through on her initial pass. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Flash done a great job this one, but I will tell you, I think she's holding a little bit back, which probably is not bad with an 89 to 28 lead uh, with another bout later today. Nice work there by No Coast. Omaha able to get lead jammer status, but really not able to capitalize on it as they did not have an advantage of bodies in the pack. Don't forget, Omaha Roller Girls in red and the No Coast Lincoln Nebraska Girls are in black. Cleo Smacky here, number 22. And it looks like that's going to be I'm Up Firestarter for Omaha, number 53. That red hair, can't miss her. Cleo no. gets to the pack before she exits turn two. 
She's going to be your lead jammer. And I tell you, Crush, that took less than eight seconds for her to do. She's got a lot of time to keep racking up the points for Nokos, who started this jam with 89 over Omaha's 28. Absolutely. That's just a great play just out of the gate there. Looks I, like I'm a fire starter. So they pick up speed, though, on Cleo. Cleo starting her first scoring pass of this jam. A minute and a half to go in this jam if she chooses to use it in its entirety, but she's going to pick up her points nice. and call it off as Ima was able to escape that pack and was approaching rapidly. Great four points there for Cleo and great track awareness. The second she was through, she called it. We get to start over and, and uh, give another go. That was a great job. I tell you, the track conditions look pretty great out there. I haven't heard any complaints thus far, and that's because they're on skate court. Roller derby flat tracks. Take them out, check them out, and take your lead to the next level. Also, you need to make sure you support Derby Skins because they love making your hiney shiny. I, I've seen Kill the Messenger actually up right behind us going, Dump Truck, I got my Derby Skins. It's like, I good for it. you. You're in the right place. She's got a purple shiny hiney. It's true. There goes Flash Gloria, but look at there. Out in front, Animaniac, I believe it is. She's able to punch a hole at the front of the wow. pack and get off to the races. Now she's on her initial scoring pass. Trying to stay in bounds, she goes to that outside line, fighting for it. Oh, gets bumped out by number 37, Broken, Broken Hearts. Hearts. Might have been a little bit of a track cut there, but oh, oh. there's Judo No with the more love again. She's got a knack for right before the whistle, bringing the heat. Judo No, one of those blockers that, that I, that I kind of say, slams the door in people's faces. She just shuts it down. That's what she does. She I wakes like it. at that opportune moment. moment. She knows that you're right there on the, the out-of-bounds line, and she can put you outside. She just shows up, and suddenly she's the only one occupying the space the jammer was formerly in. I want more of it. <laughs> I bet you do. 34 double D, Slam Anderson in there. The Blasted Girl for Omaha. Get Omaha in red. No coat oh, in goodness. black. Looks like the pivot there took a nose shot. Omaha 101, Sharon Misery took a little shot to the nose, but she's back on the track. Just enough to slow her down, but oh. not enough to stop her. Right before e -blast, girl was about to get lead jam for the first time. But she's going to draw a penalty. Champagne's going to the penalty box. And Ripa. So now the pack advantage is going to go to Omaha, 4-2 and two in the pack. Slam Anderson trying to get through, but the Omaha oh. wall was some great teamwork there. Wow. Push her out there and let me get her the rest of the way. Molly Masker with two impressive shoulder hits, a right and a left. She's the jammer killer from Omaha in this jam, that is for sure. Doing the hokey pokey she, all up on her. She wants some more. I tell you, she three nice hits there from Molly onto the jammer. Looks like she's paying for him a little bit, skate a little bit slow, oh. out of bounds, and she's going to go down to a knee. Yeah, favoring that right foot quite a bit. Might be a cramp. Slam Anderson out in front of the pack. Still skating here. Slam trying to get around. Trying to get around anti-embolism. She is able to do so. Picking up all five points. That's another five finger special for No Coast Derby Girls. Just about to break the century mark here for No Coast. We hope the Molly Massacre is okay. We think it may just be a cramp, but we'll wait and see here. She is being tended to by a member of her bench. Looks like the EMTs are going to head over as well. So she's in good hands for sure. Coming around now again, Slam Anderson following her lead blocks. Champagne and Kelly Ripponipoloff are both in there doing a nice job. The Blasted Girl at the beginning of this jam looked like she was really about to have some forward momentum on her side, but she's been stuck in Lincoln, Nebraska <laughs> for most of this jam. <laughs> she has. Capital City. As we like to call it. I don't ever call it that. Much. Well, excuse me. <laughs> Watch yourself. <laughs> All right, there's another great gym. 98 to 31 with 18 minutes left. You hear the No Coast fans in the building just to our rears showing some support for their fellow uh, league mates. Rears. What a beautiful venue we have here it in is. Kansas City. I've been so sick of hearing about this place from denouncer Dwayne. I'm so excited that I finally get to be in the room and understand oh. why it is such a fantastic venue oh. for women's flat track roller derby. You're on top of it. I mean, there's really literally the cliche, there's not a bad seat in the house. Beautiful art deco design. Really did a nice job. Pack with a slow start. Jammers with a quick. I'm a fire starter trying to go to the inside line in red for Omaha. Cobra Kai breaking through with a quick inside left shoulder move, and she is breaking out now, hoping to score more, more points for her no, no coach girls. 
I'm a fire starter, did get recycled back in the pack, but she found some room at the outside of turn four. Gets through on her initial pass. Looks like Cobra Kai is going to start picking up some points. This is her first scoring pass of this jam, of which there are one minute and 14 seconds to go. Cobra, oh, going to get caught up in the mashup there with a pivot for Omaha. But she is going to call it. That's She's had enough. Nice job to get out in front again. Again, all about control, getting that lead jam, controlling the pace and the action of each of these. 16 minutes, 38 seconds to go in this final period of the first game of the 2011 WFTDA South Central Region Playoffs. No Coast on top with 107 points over Omaha's 31. You're watching this live on WFTDA.com. I think you said all of that correct. You know, it happens every once in a while. This is not your first rodeo. <laughs> I love rodeos. Flash Lurie out there against, oh, who knew Animaniac? Animaniac did get pushed out of bounds oh, in there the front she goes. stretch. There she goes. Flash Lurie with the lead jam. She's been there before. Wow, Animaniac with a nice move there, able to juke her way to the front of the pack. But she does get, ooh. Thicker than a stick. Just barely missed her on the left hip check. Let's see if Flash can get any points before she calls this off because Animaniac is fast. This is going to be a hit it and quit it scenario. As Flash is at the front of the pack, gets pushed out in turn three. Yep. Knows Anima Animaniac's hungry, and she's on the move. So she calls off the jam, picks up three points on three the points. way, Crush. Yep. A nice three points again, like you said, hit it and quit it. They'll take that all day long. We do want to thank Five on Five Magazine, the official magazine of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. Check them out at fiveonfivemag.com. That is a fine, fine publication. They will show you all the action from all over the world in Women's Flat Track Roller Derby. It is fantastically put together, and the, the images and articles are second to none. It is, it is first class. You're right on the money there. It's not your high school newsletter. It's a great magazine. All right, coming up here on the track, I've got Slam Anderson looking for another gap for your no-coast girls. And I'm a fire starter, again, struggling in the back a little bit with no-coast blocking, but there she goes. Slam Anderson is your lead jam. Omaha's doing a good job to stay together in their blockers, but they can't seem to stop no-coast jammers as Slam is coming back around again for a scoring drive. I'm a fire starter needs to back up now and come in back behind thicker than a snicker. A great scoring pass there by Slam Anderson. Let's see how many she's going to pick up. That's a full five. That is a grand slam. No coast looking good again in this jam. You know, I mean, the point difference just continues to get larger and larger as no coast continues to, to knock it down one hammer at a time. Like I said, I know they came in with a chip on their shoulder. You know, the ranking is not what they wanted. Uh, I think they're trying to set a bit of a statement here. Um, and let Texas know that they're going to be coming for this afternoon. Well, you know, that's what this tournament's all about. You don't like your seating? The world is in your hands. It's all up to you. Absolutely. These are your proving grounds. And anything can happen, as you know better than anybody. Yeah, anything can happen. That is a fact. Roller Derby is one of the most ex exciting and, and, and swing-oriented uh, uh, sports out there. You'll have somebody that's 60 points ahead, and then all of a sudden your opponent wins by 20 in a, in a matter of 10 minutes. It's a, it's a dramatic game to watch. The athleticism is second to none. And there's Slam Anderson ending it on another Grand Slam. We've got about 13 and a half minutes left in this one for the second half of the first bout here. 125 to 31 in Kansas City. Next game that you're going to be watching is going to be Green Country. Green Country versus Gold Coast. I think Lincoln might have a couple of fans in the room. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, a little smattering. Looks like we're checking the pulse around the room. The live call <laughs> sounding good thus far. Cleo Smack out in front. Great new rookie to the Mad Max scenes of the No Coast Girls. But there she comes. Animaniac is a no quit jammer for sure. She's putting the pressure on Cleo to see if she can pick up any points at all. I feel like Animaniac is, is digging pretty deep right here. A few jams ago, she did not look to have. Uh, as powerful uh, a set of legs as she does in this jam right here. It's good to see that she's uh, recognized that going, okay, this is time to play. Let's, let's dig deep. Let's pull up our socks. Let's play some roller derby. Absolutely. It's now or never for sure. And, you know, she kept Cleo to two only on that scoring drive thanks to her speed and relentlessness. So we're going to bring out here Flash Gloria against I'm a Firestorm. No, I think we're going to have a timeout. Timeout, no coast. 
Sin City Skates here, the big five skate techs. They'll fix your gear or chat about new stuff. You have Maxi Bad here for Sin City Skates, and they have been making sure that everyone's equipment runs properly. If there's an issue on the track, Sin City Skates is here over in turn four. They grab the equipment, fix it as fast as possible to uh, try and get you out there on, on the track where you can be a help to the rest of your team. Also, check out buynewskates.com, either online or on your mobile phone. Did you know that you could probably look at it right now while you're listening to this broadcast in the middle of this timeout? Right this second? You, you Right this second. And this second is another great time to look up a fantastic roller derby company, Vanilla Skates. Let Vanilla Derby take you to success with our leather, renegade, and straight jacket boots. They are here at the event. And I guarantee you, you can find them online. You know, and we want to thank all the sponsors of Roller Derby. It is a, it is a sport of love and of passion. And all the sponsors here put everything they can into it. So we want to thank them and also the fans. Looks like we're going to come out of the timeout here. Animaniacs had time to rest her legs, so she's going to jump on the jammer line for Omaha right next to Flash Gloria. Both teams skating down. No coast by one and Omaha by two. Oh, little Animaniac sandwich there. Boy, she's always hard to hit that pack. She knows that she is best when she is working hard. She turns up the hustle. She does things like this, like picking up lead jammer status. Now you're talking about the advantage in the pack. Right now going to no coast with three on two. This could make things a little difficult difficult for Animaniac, especially now that for a few moments it's going to be one on three. Yeah, I like about Animaniac. She's not afraid to hit the pack and then come back and twirl around. You know what I mean? You've got to know that you've, you're going to have to, to lay down some groundwork of your own whenever you are going to get in penalty trouble like this. Uh, Omaha has yet to be able to vacate the penalty box on a regular basis. We have not seen a lot of five-on-five -five representation. Well, you got 125 to 36 here, about 11 and a half minutes still to go. Flash, excuse me, Slam Anderson is going to take the line again and jam for your no-coast girl. Looks like we may have a fresh jammer in there for Omaha. Looks like it's 42 Axel Rogue. That'll be the first uh, jam for Axel Rogue. What does that tell us, Truck? Are we getting tired over in Omaha, or are we just trying something new? Uh, yeah, probably a little bit of both. You want to try and reserve those jammers as much as possible. As we've mentioned a couple times before, there are two more days of roller derby to play. And at the same time, you've given No Coast almost an entire game to get used to the jammers you've been using. So now give them someone new to try and figure out, maybe gain an advantage there by freshening things up a bit. Absolutely. And I wanted to mention, too, that uh, we've got a lead jam. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. About to give somebody a lead jam there, and we're still scrumming through. Axel almost out of that pack, does get taken out at the apex of three and four. Slam still Anderson. trying to get through. Slam Anderson looks like she's taking some hits of her own. Man. This pack has really tightened up in this jam crush. Nice job with the pack here. Thicker than a snicker with a booty bump, putting her out of bounds. That's going to open it up for Slam Anderson to get another lead jammer position. You know, Chuck, I want to comment, too, the officials have been great this game. You know, they always say if you don't talk about them or you don't notice them, they've done a great job. I've barely noticed them. Sometimes no news is good news. Definitely. Slam Anderson out the back of the pack, trying to get why, trying to get by the red three wall. Axel still trying to break through the pack as well. Four miners there being accrued on one of the blockers from No Coast. And there she goes. Slam is through again. Picking up, let's see how many points we're going to give her. That's a full five. That's a full five grand slam again. Wow. Daisy Mayhem, I believe, lays a big hit. Both pivots go down on the track. One of them goes to the penalty box. No coast. Now starting to get penalty heavy themselves. Right when I said that about the officials. <laughs> I jinxed it. Axel still trying to make her way through the pack. No Coast able to keep it on lockdown, even though there's only two blockers on the track for him. Champagne. That's Champagne with a nice block for a truck. She did a nice block to get that extra point at the end there for Slam. Total of five points on that final pass and that jam for Slam Anderson and her No Coast Derby girls. She is a rookie this year, by the way. She came says like, who? Sit well, says <laughs> the program. We've got just under 10 minutes to go. Eight minutes and 54 seconds to be exact. No Coast with 135 points on the board. Omaha with 36. Now, it's, it's important to know here that the second period started with Omaha with 16 points. So, No Coast has been able to hold them back to a mere 20. 
Absolutely. One of the only sports, or the only sport that you play offense and defense at the same time. It just says how well they're playing this uh, this tournament so far. That is one of the major challenges for sure. You have to wear both hats whenever you're a blocker in the middle of that pack. Right now, Noko's doing one hell of a job on defense as they force Anya Maniac in red, jamming for Omaha to be recycled to the back of the pack crush. Cobra Kai trying to break out, but that's not going to be it. Anna Maniac is going to pick up that lead gem. She is relentless. They may be behind, but she may be the MVP of this whole bout. Cobra Kai still trying to get through the pack as it picks up pace. Omaha owning the back as they are trying to grab one of the skaters in black from No Coast to have a little more control over the pace of play. Well, Tisha Lesson trying to come in and contribute to the cause here. So we're going to get a penalty call. Right. Sending Juno No to the box. And she's going to go join their jammer. And this is a power jam. The advantage is going to Omaha right now. They've got seven minutes, 31 seconds to pick up 99 points to come up and meet up with No Coast. 38 seconds left in this jam. I was just testing my math skills there. Nice job. Let's add them up together. 33 plus 20. Oh, God. Okay. That's not fair. Letitia Lesson as the pivot, just trying to get through, strangely enough. Pack it a crawl. Oh. Animaniac trying to get around the front two wall of No Coast. Omaha trapping a goat. That is what we call it when you have an isolation play. They've isolated a skater from no coast at the back of the pack, and now they control the pace. Normally, a slow pack makes easy work for a jammer, but it's not easy getting by no coast blockers, no matter how fast or slow you're going. No, Broken Hearts and Thicker the Distick had a nice little wall there, but she did break through it. Cobra Kai is up, and they're going to call it. No points awarded there. That jam called on time. And if you're ahead, that's a win for no coast. Definitely. You know, they, they continue to, to creep ahead or to simply shut down Omaha so they can't answer back. But Omaha did pick up some points there. Now with 41, no coast with nil on that jam, 135. This broadcast brought to you in part by Dr. Hauschka, the WFTDA's official bruise healer. Lose the bruise with Dr. Hauschka's outshade. Adam Wheels, the official wheel of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. And Rydell Skates, proud partner and the official skate of the WFTDA. Cleo Smacky, number 22, in for No Coast here. Again, No Coast doing a great job with their blockers. Champagne, Dropkick Muffy in there. E Blast Girl in for your Omaha crew. Judo No back out there. She goes right in front of a Blasted Girl. I tell you, Judo No, she's the one that slams the door in your face. Look for something good to happen from her here. She is really a great skater. She keeps her body low, she's got great control. E-Blast Girl again struggling, but they're going to let her out. E-Blast Girl on the jam clock. I'm a fire starter now released from the pack, and it looks like we have a full complement on the floor. Cleo Smacky getting a little bit of an arm drag help from Juno there to get out of the pack. Now she's got to catch up with E-Blast Girl try to call this thing off. E-Blast Girl with the jammer helmet panty wow. on. I'm a fire starter as the pivot for Omaha. E-Blast Girl picking up four points. Impressive. Cleo trying to catch up with the pack. A Blasted Girl is going to call off the jam so they can come out of this four to zero. And I have to agree with that strategy. It's smart. You're trying to edge your way back up there to no coast 135. And whenever you start with 40, 41 points at the beginning of the jam, it's all about control. So you believe if it's not a power jam situation, it should be hit it, quit it, hit it, and quit it. It depends on the scenario and, and it depends on your opponent. And right now what they need to do is, is get off. Get off the jammer line, own the jam clock, stay on the track, stay out of the penalty box, and take advantage where you can. You have to respect the fact that No Coast does have this lead for a reason, so you take your points where you get them, you call it off. Sure. Velvet Crush in there with Juno No and Broken Hearts. Uh, skating one skater down, it looks like, with Flash Gloria as your jammer for No Coast against Animaniac. Let me give that girl a cold beverage after this one. <laughs> A cold beverage and an ice bath. Yes. Maybe an ice bath in a cold beverage. Ooh. It's like a double your pleasure. <laughs> and double your fun. And there she goes. Flash Gloria doing it again. Gaining lead jam for your no-coast girls. Here's where she's in fine form. Let's see if she can pick up any points. Oh, they're actually going to send Animaniac to the bench. She picks up her fourth minor as a track cut there. Wow. Sending her to the penalty box. Making this a power jam. Advantage no-coast. Wow. Not what Omaha wanted, clearly. Now, if you watch, I, this is interesting. I, I, Omaha, no Coast is not going to be afraid to spread out a little bit because 
Flash does a great job with her shoulder moves. She can really skate around just about anybody if she has a space. And well, sure enough, she does it again for a grand slam. I'm not going to disagree with you at all. Another thing they're going to be doing is keeping things as slow as possible. Whenever you have a jammer like Flash that can go through that pack, you keep it slow. She can determine what's going to happen in front of her a lot easier. When that pack is fast, it's hard to tell where it's going to naturally evolve. And Nokos has a clock on their side as well. Great point. That's a great point. And Omaha proved it right there. But she is going to pick up another. I have to get my rolls down. <laughs> Ren slam. That was nice. No. There she Flash, goes. Just make it a move at the outside. Pam, Pam, and I'm through. Look, it I'll is. take five more. Thank you very much. <laughs> wow, breaking it out now. 110 point lead for your no coast girls. Really putting on a performance here this morning. Pretty safe to say that they are going to be moving forward in this tournament and who they're going to be playing next, the Texas Roller Girls. The and that will infamous. be today at 6 p.m. What an honor it has to be to be able to play leagues at that top level. And whenever you're no coast, who is playing a great game of roller derby, you have an, the ability and the opportunity to learn a lot. And who knows? Who knows? Upsets happen. You could be clicking one day, and then suddenly you're moving on in the tournament. You know, and no coast is far enough along in their history and their in their you know practice level. They're that's what they're thinking. They're thinking upset. You know, they're not there just to learn and pick up some pointers from Bloody Mary and the crew. They want to kick butt and take names. Oh yeah. Well, right now they have to focus on Omaha. No, no, no coast well, we with 155. On Omaha with 45, and we've got. <laughs> Two minutes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes in this final period. Here's the fiery, I'm a fire starter, struggling. Juno, no, like you said, the jammer blaster back there. She's so smart. Oh, there she goes, 34 double D. That's about what I wear, um, truck, but she's back through the That's pack. That's disturbing. Uh, I, was that innuendo? I apologize. <laughs> I'm a Firestar major track oh, cut. Oh, no. Another power jam. Going to go be having a seat. This is not things you want to give the no coast. No, no coast right now. They're they're skating through this jam for sure, and they're not letting up. Well, they're not necessarily skating with the same sense of urgency as they did in the first period since they do have such a handed lead with so little time left. Well, and, that's, and what do you do here, Truck? I mean, do you just – I mean, obviously you're going to skate it out, but you want to skate the full two if you can get it. Just so time's running, is that the idea? Keep the clock moving? Right, keep the clock moving. Keep everybody going forward. If there, are less than, if there are 30 seconds or more left on the jam clock at the end of the jam, then we'll definitely have another one. But if she just keeps playing to the end of it, this will be the game. Yeah. Good point. 52 seconds left in the game, 25 in the jam clock. Yeah, if she was to call the jam right now, Omaha would be able to use uh, another timeout to make this game continue to go on. And I think No Coast is ready to move on with this tournament. So we're going to see a full two-minute jam. You're right. And every second that they're out there, somebody could get hurt or something else. So I'm a fire starter. Is not giving up, though. And that has been the motto of the Big Five uh, regional tournament swing that leads to championships in Denver. Every single team that I have skated or have seen for the most part very few exceptions have skated every single jam. One jam at a time. That's how you win games. No matter what the score looks like, continue to skate jam to jam. That's what you're here for, and it makes for great gameplay. You well, can really educate yourself simply by playing the game at this level. Well, and that's just it. It's about love. You know, these girls don't get paid. They do it for the love, and that's why we're all here. Hats off here. No Coast is going to take the win. 159 to 45. Way to go to the No Coast girls. Uh, Omaha will definitely move on in their own bracket, but No Coast will go on and now place Texas this afternoon. Hi, this is Electra Blue live at the WFTDA South Central Region Playoffs. I am here with Flash Gloria of No Coast Derby Girls. Um, Flash, big win for you right now at that last game, 159-45. How are you feeling right now? We are feeling great. We worked really good together with our pack. Um, we've been doing a lot of off skates training and we could really tell that we were controlling the power out there, controlling the speed, and I think it looked great. We're really excited to play Texas tonight, again, for our second bout. Um, same as last year, we got to take on Texas, but I think this year we're a lot more prepared. Our pack is way stronger and we're ready to win, ready to get that upset in. Now, Flash, you were the MVP of the tournament last year, Amber Waves of Pain, that your league kindly hosted for us, and the surprise breakout team of that um, tournament coming in at eighth and leaving fifth. Now, the only team that you did not beat was Texas, and you got them again tonight at 6 p.m. 
So what have you, what, what can I, what could the folks at home uh, expect to see from this game tonight? Well, you know, we feel like we're the underdog again, you know, and we do feel like we got placed a little bit lower than we should have. So, you know, we have nothing to lose. We're going to go out here and bring it all and try to go for one of those big, huge upsets and just make the fans in Lincoln proud because we have one of the best cities for fans and one of the best places that has Derby around. I can attest to that. They had a great fan base last year, great host last year, and I'm excited to see what you can pull off tonight at 6 p.m. South uh, Central Standard Time. Uh, the Texas Roller Girls, no coaster B.